Hello, everyone. This video is going to have um, a few different parts. Um, so they will all focus on Egyptology and the, the different um, resources, per, per, particularly um, old photographs of different Egyptian sites that you can find um, on the web through Wikipedia, I'm um, in particular, but also I am still fundraising um, for um, my uh, online Egyptology program, which will start next month. Um, so I raised a little bit over a thousand dollars and I've, I've, I will put that link in the description box um, for this video as well for, for the GoFundMe campaign. Um, but that would really help. Um, and this video is just to sort of give you a taste of the kind of work um, that I that I can be doing full time um, if I get an, enough funds to actually complete on um, that program. So the screen um, and page that um, is shared now is one of the Wikipedia Commons sources. So um, this is images of Egypt um, in the Brooklyn Museum. So these are old photographs of different Egyptian sites that were taken by the Brooklyn Museum um, in different years. So that's why a lot of them are in this black and white film. So I'm just going to go through some of these here. Um, and, and in the course of going through the pictures, I'm going to tell you maybe a little bit more about the, the sites that they find um, as well. Um, so this first image that you see um, is one of the pyramids um, at um, Midi um, or, or Madame. I, I, that may not be the correct pronunciation. Um, so this site, so M-E-I-D-U-M, -E um, was one of the main burial sites um, that the royal family of e e Egypt's old kingdom used. Um, so this is one of um, the pyramids from the fourth dynasty. So it's in that sort of range where Saqqara um, and, and Giza are. So in terms of overall geography, um, where lower Egypt is, which just as a reminder is, is where the delta is um, in modern day Cairo as well. Um, so just to sort of remind you all of, of some features of the way that w Wiki Commons and sort of these images work, um, if you want to copy and paste, you right click and then you hit copy, but then this will come up on the left hand here. So it'll either say you can attribute the author or you must attribute the author. And if it's that you have to, then it'll give you that copyright um, info there as well. That, you can copy and paste to whatever source you are using. And then if you want to go to the original page where just this image file is stored, you click on that more details. So that's a right hand click. Um, and it brings you to the file page for just that image. And then um, these pages, the amount of extra information on them really varies. Um, so this one gives you the collection that this Im image is taken from. So the lantern slide collection from the Br Brooklyn Museum archives. Um, sometimes it gives you the, the original date of when the original photograph was taken. Um, in this case, I'm not seeing that. It's just giving me the date that this photograph was uploaded to Wiki Commons, um, which according to this is 2012. Um, and if it is a museum object, um, sometimes in either this page or sometimes when you click on the original image, um, it will give you the accession number as well. And, and that's helpful if, if you're trying to find particular museum objects. Um, and then you need to, to go back to that overall file. You just click the arrow back button there. Um, so this is Abu Simbel. Um, in about 1900. So this is the interior and Abu Simbel is a site that was basically right at the borders or the border between Egypt um, and Nubia. And it was actually um, a double 
temple site that was built by Ramses II. So there's the great temple at Abu Simbel, and that was the one that was dedicated to him. But then he also or or ordered a smaller temple built at Abu Simbel for his then chief wife, um, Queen Nefertari as well. Um, and this one, given that it's the figures of Ramses II, I think this is the interior of, of the 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 big temple at, at Abu Simbel, but I don't know for sure. Um, and um, Abu Simbel was one of the temples, temple or temples technically that was moved um, when the Aswan Dam was put in because, like Nasser, the lake that was created by the Aswan Dam, the waters um, of Lake Nasser would have submerged the Abu Simbel temples in their original spot. So the te temples were in the 1960s, actually completely dismantled um, block by block and then moved um, and reassembled to the site that, that they are in now. And if you go to Abu Simbel, or at least the last time that I went, um, a good portion of the, muse of the museum there is the kind of story and original archive photos of how they actually moved the temple or temples to um, its current spot. Um, so this is just to go quick back. This is Abu Simbel, the great temple, I think, in its original spot right um, at the border between Nubia and, and, and what was then Egypt during the Pharaonic period. And um, this, I think, again, is the inside of the Great Temple, but I, I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, this is the outside of either the main te temple, so the Great Temple, or the smaller one, um, again, when it was still on its original spot. But it gives you an, an idea of just how large those statues were and just how much sand um, had, had piled up there as well. Um, and so this is Ramses again, and then these are some hieroglyphics here um, and sort of captions there as well. Um, and again, if I click, right click, it gives me you can attribute the author. Um, and then if I click on that, right click on that more details um, and I scroll down, it gives me a little bit more in info about um, this image. Um, so this is um, from a different site. So this is from that same Brooklyn Lantern Slide collection. But this, these two statues um, are called the Colossus of Memnon. Um, but what they actually are is what's left of the mortuary temple, I think, of Amenhotep II. Um, and so this was once a much larger site. And so this is in that region of modern day, or what is modern day Luxor and what in the Pharaonic period was the region of Thebes. Um, and so very dimly in the back here, you see um, the site of Deir al-Bahari. Um, so that's where the mortuary temple of Hatshepsut is and some other mortuary temples as well, but hers is the most famous one. Um, and so this is from the 19th century. So these statues, these two statues here are of a pharaoh. They're so the same pharaoh. And these were once um, part of a much larger com um, complex that you would have seen in the background as well. Um, and you can't really see it all that well, um, but on this or next to the pharaoh's legs, there um, is a statue of um, his chief wife as well. And so she's slightly smaller. But as you can see, these statues, um, these colossi ha have definitely not been treated well by the um, elements. Um, and so in the background here, you can see some of the um, hieroglyphs and decoration on the throne as well. Um, and so in some of the other pictures of these colossi, you'll see um, the irrigation and the cultivation of, of the fields that actually by the 19th century 
um, had started to really surround these statues as well. And so this is just, um, I don't know, because it doesn't give me the year. Um, it's not that same photo, but it's a close up um, of that side of the throne. So this chunk here is what this photo is close up of. And it might actually be No, I'm pretty sure it's this because it's the same. It's the semi tau way or sort of uniter of two lands figures there. Um, but this just gives you a slightly better idea of the hieroglyphs and also just of the size um, of these statues. So in terms of scale, you have a, a gentleman, you know, standing there and he's quite small in comparison to the statues. Um, and this photo has been colorized as well. Um, so it gives you a, a little better sense of sort of the color of the landscape at that time. Um, I'm just going to click on more details, see if that page gives us the date um, that this photo was taken, but it might not. So yeah, it's not giving us, it's just giving us the general year span. So, and actually it's not even giving us that. So this image was taken at some point in the 19th century. Um, this is back to Abu Simbel. So this is, again, these boats are either just have left Abu Simbel or they're just about to arrive. So this shows you its original site um, on the Nile River and sort of in that border area as well. Um, this is an image of Giza. Um, so you can see the Sphinx here. Um, and then two of the pyramids as well. So again, this gives you an idea of just how much sand um, had built up and how much clearance had to be done to, to sort of get the Giza Plateau as a whole to the sort of polished um, look that, that it has uh, now. Um, so this is another one from Giza and this image has been colorized, I think, as well. Um, so it gives you a little bit better idea of the color of the original landscape and kind of the geography. Um, so this is in that same general area, um, but I think it's a little from a little bit further away because um, you don't see as much of the Sphinx. Um, and this, I don't know for sure, but this might be, they're starting to uncover the Valley Temple of Khafre here. Um, but I don't know that for sure. So again, this is just sort of an idea of, of kind of the types of things that you can um, get from Wiki Commons in terms of images. And again, these are all from the Brooklyn Museum um, slides collection. So you go down here and then this is back to Abu Simbel um, as well. So this is just a close up of one of those Ramses statues that we saw before with a person there again to give you some idea of just how large and how imposing those statues actually um, were and, and still are um, if you go there. This is the interior of Abu Simbel again um, it's so it's telling me here, the caption here, that this is from the interior of the great t temple. So the main temple, Abu Simbel, that Ramses ordered built that was dedicated to himself um, and some other deities as well. Um, and then we go a little bit further down. Um, and starting here, these are some original images of Deir al-Bahari. Um, so that is a, the overall site is actually Deir, Deir al-Bahari. Um, so this is part of that site. Um, so it shows you the temple of Mentuhotep II. 
which um, I think is here. Um, but it also might be this one be, be, because the Deir al-Bahari site overall has three main buildings. So it has the mortuary temple of Mentu Hotep II, which is the earliest one from the Middle Kingdom. And mortuary temples were designed um, to basically allow the spirit of the deceased monarchs to receive food and drink. So Mentu Hotep II at the beginning of the Middle Kingdom was the first one that sort of built on the site. So he built his mortuary temple. And then later on in the New Kingdom, Hatshepsut built hers there as well. And then um, her a co-ruler and, and after Hatshepsut passed, the, the sole ruler as well, taught, um, taught Moses the um, third. Um, I think he was the third. Um, built his mortuary temple in between Mentu Hotep's and Hatshepsut's. Um, but the most famous building on Deir al-Bahari and probably the, the one that most draws the tourist is Hatshepsut's mortuary temple because it's the most complete slash reconstructed um, one that we have. And then there's some other burials from the Middle Kingdom, royal burials of, of queens. Um, on the site as well. But on the other side, to go back to this quick, so on the other side of these cliffs um, is the Valleys of the Kings and Queens because it was in the region of modern day Luxor and what, what in the Pharaonic period was Thebes. Um, and so this is just some of the um, interior views of Deir, Deir al-Pari. So this is um, on the terrace with some of the original columns from the mortuary temple of Mentu Hotep II. So the first one that built on this site um, during the Middle Kingdom. So that's why you see the 11th dynasty label there. Um, and then this is from that, that same structure. So you see some of the original columns and hieroglyphic decorations as well. Um, and then this is at, so we're still at Deir al-Bahari, but this is from Hatshepsut's mortuary temple. Um, and so this is the first layer basically of her mortuary temple as it was whenever this image was taken. Um, and it's not giving me the exact date on the header so it again might have that might might have the date and that more details um, right click there um, and then this um is uh from dear Abahari as well um but this is from a shrine that was at the site so this is um a cow that was probably also meant to embody the goddess hathor um in this shrine here um, and so I, it doesn't tell me which mortuary temple we're at. I think this is Hatshepsut's, but it, it might be Mentu Hotep's the second. And then just some further um, images down here. So now we are going to go to um, another Wiki Commons link. So this is um, photographs of Egypt that Antonio Vito took of, of different sites in Egypt. Um, so an example here, you know, it's the pyramids um, at Giza. Um, and so this is giving us the the collection that this is taken from. So th this was uploaded from the New York Public Library Photography Collection. Um, and it's somewhere in between the 1860s through the 1920s. I'm gonna click on here and see if it gives us the original, the, the exact year date, um, but I'm not seeing it, unfortunately. Um, but this does give you a, a good idea of just how much these landscape um, of Giza and, and the plateau overall has 
change. So when this image was taken, um, a lot of this was still called to, was still land that was called to baited. Um, and the, what's the modern city of Cairo had not yet expanded basically right up to the pyramid's borders um, as it is um, now. And so this, when this image was taken, you still had semi um, regular -ish Nile flooding as well. So you see a, a channel of the Nile River there as well. And so this gives you a good idea of the contrast that you can find in Egypt with the sort of desert where you find a lot of the temples and sort of stonework. And then, you know, right next to it, the land that was able to be cultivated and um, was cultivated as well. And so this is, you know, just more images of, again, different Egyptian sites um, that this particular gentleman took. Um, and so you, you see um, Abu Simbel, you see some original images of Cairo, um, and then he has even um, some of the original images of Luxor as well. So this one, for instance, here um, was or taken at the Temple of Luxor. Um, so again, it's giving me a year range, but I don't see a, a particular year. So this image was taken sometime between 1895 and 1915. Um, and this also gives you a good idea of just how much was cleared out of a lot of these temple sites in terms of villages and sort of habitations that had grown up um, in them in the succeeding centuries as well. And so that's what this image gives you a glimpse of as you see some of the thatched roofs of what was actually a functioning village that was right within Luxor Temple um, and a little bit here as well. And that actually raised on the floor le level. So again, um, it, a lot of work has been done to make Luxor and, and a lot of these temple sites, I mean, for particular looks sort of as, as white and, and pristine um, as they now do. And so this is from that same Lux temple, um, but this is one of those statues of Ramses II um, in situ, and it's still, you, you can see partly buried um, in sand here. Um, and, and then just, you know, further down here as well. Um, we also have Felix um, von Gis. Um, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm going to translate the page. Or Felix von Fils was um, a, a another sort of well-known photographer of a lot of these original sites of ancient Egypt. Um, and so again, that's where these or that's where these images are from. Um, so this is an image um, where people before it was cut off actually used to climb the Great Pyramid. And so th this is a photograph of tourists um, doing that. Um, I'm just going to quick look in more details to see if I can find the year. So this one does give the year. So this was taken in 1867 and the original collection that it's from is the Library of Congress. So again, I just scrolled down there. Um, and then this is another um, Sphinx at Giza here. Um, and this, this is either the, the number of the picture or the year. So I'm just going to click, click on it to see if we can. So this is the Sphinx in 1867. Um, so at that point, it was not fully cleared out um, in, in terms of sand. And just again, to give you a sense of the scale, that is a, a human that, you know, is, is able to stand um, under the ear. And he's just very small compared to the actual statue. 
So that's one of the things, you know, that, that is really cool about sites like this or about things that Wiki um, Commons has is you, you can really get um, all these old photographs. So uh, as we scroll down here further, you'll see a lot of these starting from here are car neck um, and different parts of that temple before it, it was really um, cleaned out and kind of pretty fied up. Um, so this is one of the avenues I'm in car neck. And again, if I click on more details, I might get the year, which I do. So it's 1867. Um, but this again, just gives you a, a good sense of just how much history and, and how much um, interaction <clears throat> with the environment and landscape <laughs> Sorry, that sites like this still had. Um, and then I'm just scrolling down and a lot of this, you know, down to here is again, different parts of Karnak, um in the 19th century. And then um, more at, of the Giza Plateau here, um, a couple more of Luxor, that's what those two are from. Um, and then Medina Net Tabu here, which Medina Net Tabu um, is the site of the mortuary temple of Ramses III. Um, or at least that's one of the st structures that that site has. Um, so that's what, as you scroll down further, here, here, Mita Medina Net Habu, um, as well. Um, so I think we're going to do one more photograph. Um, so this is by Francis Firth. So Francis Firth, um, was another pretty famous, um, photographer or early photographer of both um, Egyptian sites, but also um, sort of scenes of kind of daily life that he saw in Egypt as well. So if you look at these, you'll see that right away. So he has what's labeled a date merchant um, for men and a table of food, but then he also has um, Dashur, um, uh, image of the Valley of the Kings, um, and, and things like that. So I think um, I'm going to end this stream um, or, or end this video. Um, again, if you contribute to my studies, um, I can do this sort of work full, full time um, and I can share even more cool stuff uh, with everyone. Um, I hopefully will do another video soon. And as I said, uh, the GoFundMe link for um, my program of study is in the description box for this video um, as well. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen and then I'm going to um, end the video and I hope to see you all soon. Bye.